Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today well as you can see we're in a we're not in the solar system for a change so and as you can probably already read by the title so today we're gonna to be doing um part one of like the Christmas special series so this series will be ranging from obviously now to around the end of December in the Christmassy sort of time so Merry Christmas even though it's not really Christmas yet it's still a week to go pretty much but today what we're doing is we're gonna make a Christmas tree in Universe Sandbox 2 using the sun so i've already um, had a little practice for this and now i know what i'm going to do so yeah i would had to think things over and work out how i do this but now now i've worked out how to do it so yeah let's get into this and actually before we get started guys just wow you guys really really enjoy that um elemental solar system series so yeah expect episode three of that to come out soon but damn and also we're closing in on 1900 so let's see if we can try and get that um maybe in the next 24 hours because that would be awesome but yeah so if we get it in the next 24 hours, that means we have the rest of December to try and get 2,000. So, damn, if let's try and get that goal. We're so close to 2,000, but it, we're closing in on the end of the year as well. So we've got about uh, 11, 12 days until the new year. So that's how long we've got to, to get 2,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it because that would be awesome. But anyways, let's get into this. So... The way I'm going to do this is, as you can see, I've got already got two suns placed. So I've got one sun in the middle area here. Then I've got one above it. So what I'm going to do here is, it probably won't be the longest video either, guys, since I guess we can add actually. I know actually, know what I know what I can do to make it a little longer, because this could be really short if I'm literally just going to make a tree. So yeah. All right. Now what I'm going to do is, we're, we're going to make sure the game is paused. So you, if I press the sun, so I click it, but I hold it and then I drag upwards, it places another star like that. So I'm going to keep doing this for a while until we get to four suns tall in height. So let's do it again like that. So now we've got four suns in the line and we can always um, edit these and just move them as well if they're not in line. So we can always just grab it and slightly drag it a little more forwards like so. So as we can see they're pretty much all lined up now as you can see by their glows. So we've got one, two, three, four. Now what I want to do is from this sun here I want to make it nine suns long so i'm going to go from about here i'm going to continually do this for nine so we've got two there so let's go three and then four then we go let's um we do that so one two i want to try and get around the same distance as well so so one two let me go three and then four so there's four suns in a row now so on each side, that makes nine since we have the middle one. So you couldn't really see where I'm going. So I've got the bottom layer of the tree done here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer from here, but I'm going to go upwards. So let's go one sun in height again like that. Actually, we need to lo lower that a bit. So if we do this, then just, just drag it down slightly like so. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another sun here. So just above the previous ones like this. So do that and then that. So now we've got the next layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this double, um, this layer sort of double. So we're also going to have like this. So yeah, we've got a layer of nine suns at the bottom. Then we're having two layers of seven. So there you go. So we've got three on each side. Then we've got one in the middle. That's seven. So as you can see, we've got... Uh, oh, whoops. Let me quickly uh, modify that. <laughs> So let's just drag it upwards and then put it forwards like that. And that's pretty much how you do it. So never really done anything like this. I've never made any sort of like art in Universe Sandbox. I've never really seen it as a game to make art in. But I guess you sort of can with stars make some glowing, a glowing Christmas tree out of suns. So pretty unique. I've never seen anyone else do this on YouTube. So it's like a new Universe Sandbox thing to do, I guess. So I don't think I've seen anyone else do this. I don't watch Universe Sandbox on YouTube, honestly. So I wouldn't know, but... Sometimes I see Universe Sandbox pop up in the recommended, obviously, because I make Universe Sandbox, it pops up my recommended of other people's videos. But I've never seen anyone make, like, art in Universe Sandbox by, like, moving objects into, um, or make them into displays like this. So, this should be pretty interesting. So, let's do this, and then pull that forwards as well. Okay, a little too slow, so let's drag you like that. So, okay, so there we go. So, now we've got a line of nine, and then two lines of seven. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line of five. So let's um, place it there and then drag upwards like so. Okay, looking good. So then we want to lock onto this sun. Uh, let's just drag it down slightly. Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I want to go one, 
and then two, and then the same on the side, one, and then two. There we go. So you can see we're starting to build up a sort of tree shape here. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to do the same. So we're going to go up a little bit more. We're going to lock onto this sun here. And what we can do as well, since it is a Christmas tree, we can change the colour of the stars, hopefully, to get different light colours. So this should be pretty cool, actually. So there's that sun. So now we're going to grab this, do that, and then there as well. So we're just going to place another line of five. Okay, looking good. Actually, we can sort of make this more sleek design after we've done this as well. So let's um, also do this. So let's go one higher, then do the same with um, that. Hopefully, is that? Uh, no, don't want to do that. That's sort of where I messed up last time. So we have to lock onto the star, then we do this. So let's do it like that. So one, and then two. Wait, is that working? Okay, looking good. So you can see sort of a tree going on now. So sort of the pine tree sort of thing. Wait, is it? Oh, no, it's not a pine tree. Uh, evergreen sort of tree just a Christmas tree just call it a Christmas tree so there's that and then that okay okay this is pretty cool actually we could like try and add like a decoration on the top maybe I don't know so there's that so now we're gonna grab another sun we're gonna move it up higher as well like so so as you can see we've already got like a we've got like a spike shape going on which is what we want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this um go like that and then that okay looking good and now, at the very, very top, we just want a sort of spike going up. Because the top of the tree is always the pointiest bit. So, we're going to have it doing that. So, let's go, um, let's get another sun. Place it up there. Okay, looking good. Let's also place one in the middle there. Okay, there you go. So, Christmas tree. <laughs> That's probably the best I can make it. Actually, what we can do is we can have more stars underneath. So, let's um, do that. Then just move it upwards. And then also go downwards. Okay, so remember, if you don't know how I'm doing this, you... Um, just just say we go to the sun for example so then you grab another sun you place it where this one is then you click but you don't um, let go and then you drag it down like that and then it places one so look at that this is looking good actually so let's also just go in edit mode as well to sort of make this um, um, piece of art I guess so it's, it's pretty much straight but it's looking good there you go that, that I'd call is a Christmas tree we could probably make it wider at the bottom actually so we can go ahead and do that but what I want to do as well is I want to make it all line up properly so it's be pretty cool they should make some presets for stuff like this that'd be quite cool so I want to drag that like that so make it more of a um, cone sort of shape so or a pointy sort of Christmassy tree shape so let's do that so just um oh that looks way better on that okay looking good so let's also drag this one slightly more and then you as well let's do that oh this is looking cool actually so we've got that one then the same with you we're going to drag you there and you as well okay and then you wow that is looking that is a christmas tree like there's nothing there's no there's nothing about it that is, that is a christmas tree okay it's just i'm really happy with the way this has turned out actually it's a little, little better than the little experiment i did before i made this video because i did do a little experiment but it was very 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 basic and a lot smaller than this so Wow, this is insane. <laughs> Look at this. This is cool as well. I've literally, like I said, I've never seen anyone else make like art in Universal Sandbox. I think I'm going to delete that, just make it a little less tall. But there you go, that is a um, Christmas tree in Universal Sandbox. So now we get onto the fun part. Let's change the colour of the sun. So if we put it to 99999, for instance, we get a blue light. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of blue lights in. So if we just um, add 999 and then um, we we'll just add a 9 on the end there. Okay, here we go. This is this is looking cool actually. So then they'll see want some red coloured ones as well. Oh wow, this is this is really cool. Um so let's go ahead and I'll just say nine nine nine. Then you as well, just go um is it nine 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 nine? Okay, looking good. And then same with you as well, just uh nine nine nine. It's just easiest to get it in blue. Alright. And we'll keep we'll keep yet with some yellow stars as well, but now we want to go red. So let's go turn that off. Let's go one thousand two hundred. Now we've got red star. A little, it's got a lot dimmer than the yellow or the basic sun colour. So, pretty interesting. So, let's go 1, 2, so 1,200. Then we'll go view 1,200 as well. Okay, this is looking really cool, actually. Let's just go 1,200. Got some uh, very un cool looking colours. And we can go like 1,400 just to get slightly different variations of the same colour. Hmm, maybe not 14. Let's go 1,600. There we go. It's slightly more orange than the red. So you can see that, that's a lot more red if we look at the colours here. If we just get a... Um, good look at that. that that's more red than that is you can see that's more orange so we'll also go um 
2400, so that's slightly more yellowy, or like a darker, sort of a lighter orange sort of colour, I should say. Because this, this, this represents sort of a yellow star. Because if we want to make it go to a white star, we have to put it to about 7000 degrees, like that. that. That's a white star. So as you can see, in a little comparison here, that's a yellow star. You've got a white star, then there's a blue star. So... Everyone who thinks the sun is um, white, you are incorrect there, because this is a white star. That's yellow. Or well, that's a light yellow. That's why the sun's known as a yellow dwarf, I believe. So, or, uh, what, what do you mean, I believe? That, that is why, I, I should say. So, 300, because that's sort of the colour it is as well. It's just all due to temperature, determines like, what colour the star is. As you can see, whichever temperature I put in, it changes the colour of the star. So... Let's go ahead and do that as well. So it's going to be 3,000. Okay, this is going to be good. So we've got some different colours going on now, which is cool. Let's get another red star over here. Let's go 1, 500. Actually, what if we go 900 degrees? Like, really, really dim. Does it just give us a... Oh, that makes it really dark. Look how dark it is. It just, like, completely shuts out the light. Okay. So that's sort of the dimmest it can go. The red stars are probably the worst ones to use since they are just the most dim. But that's looking cool. That is a Christmas tree. This is, this is really cool. Wow, I'm surprised no one else has ever done this. Like, making art with um, Universe Sandbox. Because you can make some cool things here. Um, it's de we need, definitely need some more white stars. So let's go and add some of those in. So let's go here as well. Add some more white stars at the top. Because, yeah, in Universe Sandbox, the three main colours are red. Or, or red and orange, because they're very similar. Then you've got the yellow sort of colour. Which is this, the sun, normal sun. Then you've got white stars. And then you've got... The sort of light blue, and then you've got the darker blue. So you can see there's a light and a dark blue there. Light blues, light blue is usually about 8,000 degrees, 8,000 to 9,000 as you can see here. And then dark blue is like 10,000 degrees onwards with that, so looking good. Okay, we've still got um, some more to do here, so, so I'm 7,000 again. I, I always use 7,000 for white coloured objects. Okay, um, this one here will have that as blue. Let's get some more blue stars in. Let's just, just do 8,000 to get that light blue. Okay, that's a different sort of shade. There's loads and loads of different shades of colour we can have in here. And at the very top, we'll have, we'll definitely have yellow. Actually, what we could do as well... Oh, they've got... Oh, no, the, the display mode is still here. If we want to get red, we can do that. Uh, that doesn't need... Mm, that's not as what I wanted it to look. What if we just turn off dims quick? That'll ruin this. Yeah, that, that completely ruins it. But you can see the... do look different. But yeah, we've got to have glows on, definitely. So, there's that. Wow, this is actually really cool. Um, let's see, see, we've got plenty of... Um, Let's add another red star over here. We don't have many on this side, so one four hundred. Oh no! What am I doing? One. Oh, this is one three hundred then. All right. There you go. Oh, that is looking good. And then the bottom corner will do um, a red star as well. So just go fourteen hundred. Wow, this is looking cool. Now, and then we'll leave the um, the this part of the tree. The this would be the um, the trunk, the tree trunk. And then yeah, so that's the tree trunk. We'll leave that in white. And then the very top, we'll leave it in the basic sun color as well. Actually, where's some more default suns? If we just lower the temperature to about 4,000, we'll get another sort of shade. Whoa. Okay, sun, what are you doing? Um, please go back to your original size. One, th th there you go. Behave. Bad sun. <laughs> we'll go to 3,500. Okay, wow, this one does not want to cooperate. Okay, what? 1,500. There we go. Uh, it died. What happened? Poor sun. <laughs> what happened there? Okay, that's pretty weird. Yeah, that that sun just didn't want to cooperate at all. Let's try let's try another one. Or maybe it just doesn't like going to three thousand degrees. What if we go three five hundred? Okay, apparently they don't like going to three hundred degrees without going to like red giant size. So interesting. What if we just get a random star here then? What if we just get um Sirius for instance, slightly bigger? What if we lower the temperature of you? So let's use Sirius is slightly different as well. Nine thousand degrees. 9,800, sorry. So, let's go 3,000. Does that make it bigger? Oh, it works on Sirius. Okay, so let's just make it radius of one sun just to make it all work. Actually, what we could do is we could make all these larger in size so they're, like, touching, maybe? Maybe that'd look cool. Maybe I could do a part two to this bit. That is... There is my Christmas tree in Universe Sandbox. <laughs> that's actually really... I'm really happy with that. Look at this. It's like a sort of arrow... Well, that, yeah, that's definitely a tree. Just don't argue. That, uh, that is definitely a tree. So, what do you guys think of that? That look good? <laughs> yeah, if there's any other designs you want me to like make in Universe Sandbox with stars, then let me know down below. Like, I could try and make a... Um, don't ask me to do a reindeer or something. I, I, I'm I, not even going to attempt that. That <laughs> would be too hard. But if you've got any other like simple designs, then let me know. But I probably won't... Um, maybe we probably won't do this again. Like, 
I'm not very good at um, doing art. This was just a very, very simple design. The 2D objects I could do, but any animals or something like that, um, probably... Maybe I could do... Maybe I could do a... I probably could do a snowman, but that would take a lot longer. Like, could I do that? Like, let me know. I, I reckon I could do a snowman. Yeah, just tell me if you want more of this, um, sort of, like, designing sort of episodes, because this is, this is quite interesting. Or oh, more art artistic episodes. Put it that way. But there you go. That is my Christmas tree. So if we just, um... Get a good look at that. That looks really... That is really cool. Look at that. Oh, there's our thumbnail right there. Let me just, um... She had it. She has had a fancy background in as well. Why not? <laughs> so what could go well? This stars. I don't think any of the coloured ones would really. Yeah, the coloured ones don't know that doesn't work. Blue. No. Actually, we could try um, a Christmassy sort of background because, like I said, this is like part one of like the Christmas series I'm doing this year. So red and green are sort of Christmassy colours. Oh no, that that definitely doesn't work. If we do a darker green. Okay, may have to layer from the background. Yeah, we, we're going we're going all black. I think all black with stars looks the best for this. So, there you go, guys. That is a Christmas tree in Universe Sandbox. So, let's do that. Take a screenshot of it, because we'll use that for the thumbnail. That is a really cool little thing there. But, yeah, just a, um, this is just a little idea I thought up, because this is pretty cool. Like, and, and what we can do as well, we could position lock all of these and make a solar system around it, but that would be insanely complicated to do. So, we probably won't do that, but maybe uh, if I get around to doing it like that probably won't be easy so let's just call it christmas tree so let's just call it yeah, christmas tree like that so let's do that and now it should be all saved now um custom um stuff here so yeah there it is there's my little prototype one i made there um it's a lot smaller than this one though it looks a little similar in the picture but yeah it's smaller i use different styles and stuff like that so there is that but yeah there's our Christmas tree. That actually looks... I'm really happy with that. Yeah, but anyways, if you guys enjoy this episode, if, um, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers. If you want more, like, art sort of um, pieces like this, then um, let me know down below if, like, if you want me to make, try and make a snowman or any other design you have. But like I said, I am not probably not going to be very good at doing this, especially, like, complicated designs like a reindeer or something. Trust me, I, I won't be able to do it. So go easy on me. <laughs> but, yeah, I could... Any any simple shapes and designs, um, let me know because I probably could do it. But yeah, nothing complicated. But anyways, yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day. Many many thanks for watching. Like I said, subscribe on the way to two thousand um, subscribers because that'd be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.